guys, Anza Gaming Girl here, and welcome back to another of Coffee Talk Part 6. Freya is now our first customer. Freya, do you want to order anything else? I'm good for now. I'll order again once I finish reading this. Okay then, I'll leave you whatever that is. Hmm. Oh god. Oh, Aqua, fast to see you again. So soon. Hi, Freya. Hi, Angela. Good evening, Miss Freya Aqua. How are you two doing? Same old. I'm good. How about you? <coughs> I'm fine, thank you. And you? Oops. I asked that already. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Is Mario here? So far, it's only me and Angela. We have with us now, of course. Are you meeting her here tonight? Oh, it's not that. I was just wondering whatever she's come here again tonight. You have her email, right? Yeah. Why don't you just tell her to come and meet you here now? That always works for me whenever I want to talk to someone. That wouldn't be nice. It's not that important anyway. I just wanted to follow up on the questions her team said today. Follow up directly, I mean. Anyway, I should order something. Take your time, Miss Aqua. It's alright, I'll order now. I have tea with lemon and cinnamon, please. That's good. There you go. Oh, it looks so pretty. If I'm not mistaken, it's called Western Tea, right? Oh, you knew? I heard about it once. I'm pretty sure the only part that wasn't is the name. It was originally from a community cookbook or something. You're right. Whoa, that's a highly specific fun fact to know. I guess I spent too much time browsing the internet. Oh yeah, that's right. Did you change her? Oh no, it's still the same. I got a mem- Wait. What? Hold on. How in the heck did I switch her? Birds of yeah. A mermaid from Anatus and a friendly and love to tea lover. Full metal complex video games in general. Grandma. Move to Seattle to achieve my dream of advancing technology as far as we can. Trying to find the place and person where I belong while doing something I love. Last night, blah blah blah. Ah ha ha. Pretty sick of first aqua. I'm sorry. I said you haven't left. I was just joking. Oh, that would be crazy. Why? Oh no. I didn't mean to offend you or anything. It's just that you shouldn't forget to take breaks. You too, Angela. Please make sure you get enough rest. Of course, I will, Miss Aqua. Was coffee shop I had to make sure if it's okay and then I will take a breath. Thank you for the reminder. By the way Aqua, yes, where did you come from? Because judging from your accent, you're not from the state, right? I'm not. I'm from the ocean. Whoa, you're a full bred automatic boy in the way in the sea. Why did you move here? Chasing the America dream, I guess. You move with your family? No, I'm the only one who could move here. 
Oh, may I know why? It's not easy for our people, especially the females, to get high education. I got scholarships and the opportunities. I was concerned about moving, you know. But my parents pushed me to it. How long have you been here? Almost two years now. Do your parents visit often? They can. Do you know how hard it is my people to get a U.S. visa? I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. We're still in contact. We do a video call at least once a week. Do you have greetings? Of course. We all see people. My extended family is probably as big as Seattle's population. Whoa! That's a lot. Do you really have that many with relatives? <laughs> of course not. I was just exaggerating. But if you count my grandpa's kids and grandkids, there are, are hundreds of us. Holy! How about you, Freya? Oh God. So oh God, do I want to know something? Do you have any statements? I have. Oh God. It's not like she has not as many as you can okay, good. <laughs> I have a little brother. Four years younger. He also lives in Seattle? No, he's living in San Francisco. Near our parents' house. He's the good kid and I'm the rebel. Well, Linda, I'm just gonna say that rebel people are good. No, just kidding. Working some high-end tech job while taking care of my dad on the weekend. That's so nice of him. I know why. That reminds me. I should visit my parents after putting this draft. You should. Visit them while you can. I know. Anyway, I want to order something. Another espresso? You know, that you feel. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Service for the lady. Your espresso's ready. Thanks. Bitter, just the way I love it. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. How can I help you, sir? Ah, yes. Hmm. I don't know what to order. Something to raise your spirits, perhaps? Hmm. 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 Nothing you like? On the menu, I can make you a custom drink if you like. Actually, are you familiar with STMJ? I'm sorry, I've never heard of it. If you can tell the tell me the ingredients, I'm sure I can be created. Oh, lucky me. STMJ stands for Susan Teller Mystery, and in which it means milk, egg, honey, and ginger. Understood. Wait, you have the eggs? I certainly have. They're not on the shelf. But I had an egg once I mixed the rest of the ingredients. I love that. One cup of S STMJ, please. Alright, um. I think it's milk, ginger, honey. Ah, the smell. It brings back so many memories. It's quite difficult to find a place with the proper STMJ here in the state. I've tried to so I've probably to so many places and none of them got it right. The first one to manage it. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Excuse me, am I asked to go something? 
Sir, ask away. What kind of things do you kids like doing nowadays? Excuse me? Are you college students? Um, no, we're not. I see. <laughs> Why is this movie dick closer to fail? Oh, dear lord. Creep alert. Ah. May I ask how old you are? Uh, you're being creepy, old man. Go back to your chair and keep your distance. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be creepy. Hey, Angela. I just... Who is this creepy old man? I want to... I have no idea. It's his first time here. I want to be able to understand young people. Oh, thank God you're here, Officer Georgie. What's up? There's a creepy old man trying to fuck with us. Where? You mean him? Yes, but not so loud. This man here is rich with that fair. He asked me to meet him. Excuse me. So, hang on. So I told him to come here. Oh, I didn't know that rich with that was a pervy old man. No wonder she ran away from home. Everyone, please meet Mr. Furlong. What's your stat? Mr. Furlong, please meet Fred and Angela. Okay. Please call me Henry. I'll apologize for earlier. I wasn't trying anything funny. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. Oh, wait. Oh, that's a picture of him with Baby Rico. Birthday, May 28. I'm sorry about that. Wait a minute. Your name is Henry Furlong? Yes. And you're Wakefield Florence's father? Yes. Furlong? Florence? Why do you have a different last name? What are you trying to pull? Florence was my late wife's maiden name. Oh. I'm sorry. Wakefield chose it for her stage name. Freya? Okay. I think I better work on my novel. I'm sure you guys have a lot to talk about. Hey, friend, I'm, I'm, I can't even talk right now. I'll come with you. I'm just trying not to, like, go back. Uh, well, I do feel bad for the death. Anyway, what is it that you wanted to talk to me about? It's about Rachel. That night when home, was she hanging out with baby people? Well, I think one of them was a bit baby. Hey, I heard that. What? I'm not a criminal. I'm just kidding. She was in this coffee shop talking with Freya and Angela here. She wasn't in any... She wasn't in any danger. Are you sure? Before that. Oh, calm down. Is everything all right? No, everything's okay. He's upset. It's just that I feel that she's getting more and more distant. I don't know how to talk to her anymore. Or even what about. I don't know what kids her age are into nowadays. Every time we talk, we end up fighting. I have three dollars. We fight all the time. One thing I learned, give them time and space, but be there when they need you. Or you can just Bible them. One time I fight with my eldest daughter, she didn't want to talk to me for a week. I know she loves pizza, so I went to walk off and bought her favorite pie. I left the pizza on the table like a trap. Then I just ready to take the bait, just like a steakhouse. Once she took the bite of the delicious pepperoni, I casually grabbed a slice and sat with her. That pizza really helped smooth things over. After that, she won't stop talking. <coughs> what if, what, what she loves 
doing is a problem. Rachel loves singing and performing on stage. I'm proud of what she has achieved with her career. She's really young, but the entertainment industry isn't a kind place. Not the label, not the media, not the fans. I don't trust her new manager, which is just a little girl. What if she was or forced to do drugs? Did it? Well, nothing's happened yet, keyword yet. I just throw it in my gut. Is, is it possible that you're just being paranoid? I don't know, maybe. Answer, I need to go now. Just for the dream. Take care of you on your way. Well, can't you just find another manager? Rachel's already 18, so legacy can't sign contracts without principal approval. Damn. I've been trying to tell her to quit, but every time I brought it up, and as a parent, there's nothing much we can do other than guiding them and being there when they need us. Sooner or later, we have to trust them to make their own decisions. And with everything them, hopefully they make the right choices. But what if she make the wrong choices? I can't do a background check on that manager. What if that would ease your mind? Please do. Okay, give me a name. It's Morris. Last name Lester. Morris Lester, got it. Oh, isn't he that guy in today's paper? Anyway, I'll let you know if there's a hit. Hold on, I gotta take this. I've just got a call, I've got to go. I'll have to talk to talk more about this with you. Let's meet again soon. But wait, you have my contact details. Call me if you ever need my help. Wait. Don't worry, I'm sure everything will be alright. I used to be, I used to manage, manage a girl, but I've seen bad things happen. That bad. Yeah. I was against her journey that at first but my wife Rachel's mom she convinced me to put to give it a chance ever since she's been gone I don't know how to talk to Rachel with her wanting to do more on of her own stuff I don't know what to do what do you mean by her own stuff modding and a solo career. career. It's a whole different world than the band. I'm familiar with that side of the bit. But things have changed, right? Even if it has, I don't think it's for the better. She survived being an idol. Even a manager who managed to graduate and start a solo career. She sounds like someone who can take care of herself. Don't you think so? She's not ready. I don't want to get hurt. There are a lot of bad people out there. People that want to take advantage of her. You are her father. I understand you might be worried. However, you shouldn't hinder her from achieving her dreams. I just want the what's best for her. Is it really but best though? I think she's born to soar. But but she's just a girl. My little girl. Seriously? That's the argument. I didn't need to sound that way. 
It doesn't matter whatever it is, a boy or girl. You drive her away if you keep acting like this. With your knowledge, you should be able to help her achieve your dreams. I was once a stubborn young girl too. Maybe I can give you a little advice on how to handle a rabbit team. I, I love to hear it. Is it okay I stay a little bit longer, Angela? Take your time. Take all the time you need. Oh wow, that was it. Okay. Monday, September 28, 2020. The AV whispers, military personnel taken along East Coast to bed immigrants story in from this Alaska. What the hell? What was the ticketed for the emergency for more activities to visit? Doctor from Dallas Town, I went for a train with the child. What the hell? But anywho, I'm going to stop right here and continue on where I left off. Be sure to like, comment, like this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. This is Angel Game Girl signing off. Bye.